Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. It's Timmy here. I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture and coming to you from a brand new spot. I hope that you can see me and hear me okay. I'd love it if you'd let me know if you're having any difficulties. But I thought I'd come to you from my kitchen today because I'm working on a little bigger project and I wanted to be able to uh, spread out a little. Normally I work at my desk upstairs in my office. For those of you that don't know me, I um, have a full-time job and I do crafting and chalk couture um, in addition to my full-time job. So I have a desk space upstairs because I have the uh, privilege of working from home and then I use that space at night and on weekends for my crafting. But sometimes I just need to be able to spread out. So I am here today in my kitchen, uh, giving you a little sneak preview of my uh, work spot here when I do workshops and uh, do some crafting just for myself. So we're super glad you're here. We're just going to share, make sure we're here live. Yep, things are looking good. I think we're pretty clear. So that's good. I see we've got maybe a few people joining us. If you're just coming on in, be sure to say hi. Let me know you're here. I see Cheryl's watching. Welcome. Barbara, you're back. Are you back or are you just watching on the road? Great to have you here. Oh, Cheryl said it froze on her. It looks like it's doing okay from this angle. So hopefully it's going okay. We'll have to uh, cross our fingers here and see if everything's going as expected. But I'm going to just take a minute and share this video over into my VIP group. And if you're not a member of my VIP group and you want to be, just go ahead and type in VIP in the comments and I'll make sure you get the link. My VIP group is um, really a special place for us to gather, share our creations with one another, get ideas and inspirations. It's also where I do sometimes some special uh, discounts and bundle packages. So if you want to be involved, it's called my Style Innovators Group. You are more than welcome to join and it'd be great to have you here. And Barbara's saying she's, I think she said she's back. Let's see, I gotta see these comments here. Oh, there we are. Oh, not back yet. Still on her travel vacation. So sad that you um, didn't get a chance to go on the vacation you were hoping for, but I'm hoping you're having a great time anyway. Um, and I can't wait to get back and see what you're going to be creating with all the fun things you got. Amanda, I see you're here and you're watching, so thanks for coming on in. Um, remember, if you uh, like what you see and you think that there are some others in your circle that would enjoy watching some of these projects that we do, be sure to sprinkle some chalk love. Um, just use that button at the bottom that allows you to bring it out to others and uh, that will enter you into my weekly drawing. Every week on Sunday nights, I do a weekly drawing uh, and give away one of the projects we've made that week. So um, if you want a chance for that, be sure to send your chalk love out to the universe. So as I said today, we're working on a door tag and um, these are wood tags that I found um, online. So these are not a chalk couture surface. This is a found surface, we call them. And um, what I did was, they're just wood surfaces here. So I just, since this is going on the back side, oh, there's Zoe, she's gonna talk to us today. Um, I just painted the front side with some white chalk paste. And we're gonna actually use a new technique. Hey, so See if we can get her to come and talk to us instead of whoever it is she's barked at. Hold on, let me see if I can get her to stop. Ah, the joys of working from home no matter what you do, right? There's always someone that's going to interrupt. My guess is any minute now my son's probably going to pop through the door as well. Does that happen to you all too? Everyone just comes on in and decides that it's time to chat with you. Oh, thank you. Those flowers behind me are... Um, a gift from my sister. I've had them for quite a while and I moved them around strategically um, in the house and I thought today as I'm working they'd be a really pretty backdrop. So thanks for mentioning them Cheryl. I do love them as well. Okay so we've got our door tag here. So as I said it's just a wooden door tag. It's pretty thin plywood. If you're handy you could probably even make these yourself but I did order them online. Um, and I also have a little uh, chalkboard tag. This actually I did make. I um, purchased 
um, one of those uh, chalkboard big sheets from my local home store and cut it up into small tags. And we're gonna use that as an embellishment and we're gonna put a little word, chalked word on here. And we are going to work using our birdhouse transfer. Now this is part of our feathers, feathered friends chalk stories. If you don't know what chalk stories are, let me tell you a little bit about them. Chalk stories are um, a group of transfers that our chalk couture designer team has put together to help coordinate with one another. So if you're thinking, gee, I'm not sure what transfer should go with what, or I really want to mix it up and give it my own personal spin, then you might really like our chalk stories. We've got, I think, four chalk stories this season in our catalog. Um, one that's all bee related, which is really awesome, and you know how much I love bees. We did the, um, the one of the bee transfers earlier on this week. Um, we have uh, a travel collection, which is really awesome, and I think I just saw Kari come on, and she is, um, she made the most gorgeous one that you can actually see in my VIP group um, with the travel board. Her and her husband do lots of travel, and uh, she made a beautiful design using some of that collection, so if you want to peek at those and see some other designs, make sure you head over to my VIP group. If you don't know how to get there, just type in VIP and we'll make sure you find it. Um, what else do we have in our chalk stories? If anybody else is thinking about them right off the top of your head and you remember them, tell me. But anyway, this um, Feathered Friends is one of my faves, and we're going to use a, a different technique today, it's not one I use very often, but it's one that people will call either a marbling or a hot mess technique. And uh, it's kind of fun, and I think you're going to like it because we're going to do some really just um, easy colors. We're using grays, black, and then white, of course, with our backdrop here for our uh, door tag. So I'm just going to grab my fuzzing cloth here to start, and I've got my transfers over here. So I'm just going to pull the transfer off of the backer sheet. And this is the first transfer in the series that we're going to use. So this is the big birdhouse transfer. And it's pretty sticky. So I just want to make sure that I get a little bit of fuzz on the back of this transfer. Pick up a little bit of lint from this fuzzing towel. So that when I do go to put it down on the surface where I want the design to go, I'm going to be able to pull this transfer up pretty easily without hopefully stretching that transfer. Now, this is going to fit just right on here. I didn't measure it. I didn't even check to see if it was going to fit on here. I'm so happy it does. It literally is just wide enough. So you can see we've got it here. And um, I saw this from a fellow designer who did it. I just thought the technique and the colors with the grays was just really gorgeous. So I am uh, borrowing their gorgeous design. We're going to put Bless Our Nest here at the top. We're going to add in a few little cute birds. And, of course, we're going to embellish it with that and some ribbon. Because, you know what, we always need some ribbon and some twine to kind of dress this all up. So that's our plan. I'm going to turn this around just so that you can see what it is I'm doing here. And you're working on it right side up rather than upside down. And... <laughs> Amanda, no, I did not redo my cabinets. It might be the lighting in here, but these are solid wood cabinets. I'm really wanting to honestly redo them. Would love to do them. Um, but uh, for now, that is what we have. <laughs> so um, I got three different colors here that we're going to work with today. I have um, Storm and I have our Grige, which is a really light gray. And then I have our black velvet. So those are the different colors that we have. My dog's name, Kari, is, is it Kari or Kari? Now I have so many friends in my life that have Kari or Kari as their name, and they all say it differently. So I gotta know, which is the emphasis for you? Um, so I can say your name correctly. Now uh, this storm is definitely getting to the end of its life, it's almost, finished and so I want to spray some water in here and give it a good stir so that the consistency of it is like yogurt so we kind of want it a little thin and drippy so think about yogurt or sour cream when you think about what the consistency of your chalk paste should be this little spritzer by the way is great for helping to control 
how much water gets in. So I really love using that. Um, these little stir sticks, by the way, are available um, in my shop, as are any of the products that we're using here today, the transfers, the paste, etc. So if you're looking to pick up any of these things, just go ahead. You can type in shop or you can find the link right on the page where you're at. If this is your first time watching or you're watching on the replay, we're happy, 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 happy to have you. And <laughs> Carrie says either, Eddie, whichever way you want to say it. <laughs> um, so yes, Zoe is, yeah, she's right behind me. You can't see her now because she's on the floor. Maybe, can you see maybe just a little bit of her hind leg here on the floor behind me. She doesn't like to stray too far from her mama if she can help it. I don't know, do you all have dogs? Do you know what I mean about dogs just really needing to stick with you and be close to you at all times? That is my girl. Of course, she also gets a little mad at me when I um, am busy and not paying attention to her and has little accidents in the house just to make me nuts, I think. All right, so we've got all our chalk paste ready. We've got our storm, we've got our grige, and we've got our black. And the technique that we're going to use on this bottom layer is what we call our hot mess technique. And in order to do this hot mess technique, I'm just going to take my stir stick here and dab a few places on my transfer with the three different colors I have. Now mostly I want to do grays, I think. So I'm going to do a little heavier on the gray and a little bit lighter on the black. So just a few spots, really. Now the thing when you do this is, of course, you don't want to squeegee the excess chalk paste back into your chalk paste containers because we're gonna mix it all up. So we definitely don't wanna do that in this scenario. So in order to create this marbling effect, all we're doing is drawing our chalk and covering this whole screen. You see it's kind of creating this marbly like look. You're probably thinking, oh, Timmy, that looks like a mess. And that's exactly right, because we're doing the hot mess technique. And you're gonna, I think you're gonna like it when it's all said and done. I want a little more light color here, so I'm gonna put in a little more light grige and pull that in. And what's fun about this is you don't have to worry about hurrying things along. You can just pull this all up, get this nice marbling look, spread it as much or as little as you want. It's really up to you. And it kind of is going to give this nice rustic antique look, I think. So here we go. So that's what it looks like. And here we go. The best part. Let's see if I can do this while I'm holding it up for you. There we go. Look at that. Ah, isn't that cute? So this screen is a big screen, as you can see. It's the entire surface of the screen pretty much got chalked. And that means it's going to take a little bit of time for this to dry. I have my sink right here, which I got to say, I love that my sink is right here so I can um, wash as I'm working with you. But so you can see, we've put on the uh, first part of the birdhouse. The second part is actually going to be the roof elements. And you can see that here. We're not quite ready yet to put it on, but you can see that's what we're going to use. And then I've got my Bless Our Nest that I'm going to put right on top here. And then I said I'm going to do some a little embellishing on this cute little tag that we're going to hang from here. So while we're going to let this sit here and dry for a minutes, few minutes, let's go ahead and find what we're going to put on this cute little section. So many good things we could put on here, but I think I pulled a specific one. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, yeah. I think we're gonna write hello. I love this hello, this little cursive hello transfer. It's really cute. And I think we're gonna be hanging, I don't know, this way or this way. I'm not sure where we wanna put this. 
think we're going to go this way and we're going to put our hello right here. So we'll do that. <laughs> I know dogs are like second skin, right? So here we go. So we've just traced, we've just put that uh, transfer down on this little guy. And since I didn't bring any white down with me, white probably was what I was going to use, but I was not bringing my white down with me apparently. So I'm just going to use my grige, use the mini squeegee. And we're just covering the screened area, just like always. Squeegee off that excess. There we go, easy peasy. And then peel back and reveal our word. There we go, isn't that cute? So while we're waiting for those two things to dry and we wanna add on our last layer, I do have some cute little birds we're also gonna add in, I think, to all of this. But let's go ahead and make some ribbon bows here for this to put it all together because bows make everything better don't you think i'm going to just close these pastes that we're not going to be using anymore i need this black guy so i'm going to keep him but i'm going to get rid of these guys that goes on that one that goes on that one there we go so those are closed up got those over there chilling drying and we're going to go for black again but let's see what i have over here for ribbon that will try to put together a cute little bow i think took all those extra squeegees out and i didn't need any of them hey gail i see you're watching us welcome welcome i know you all have cute puppies we were just talking about that i want to see your cute puppies are they what's their names tell me about your cute ones while we're getting our bow ready here now, I gotta confess, I am not a bow girl. All right, so I have learned how to do better with bows. Um, and it's a really simple technique, and one, I am not super picky about um, having them be just perfect. I like them to be a little bit more um, rustic-y, so I don't even measure. I'm gonna do a couple of different uh, patterns, and I'm gonna do a couple of different um, sizes and we're gonna go from there so just I just kind of estimate them all to be about the same size this one probably was a little longer than I needed and I'm just cutting strips maybe about six inches or so maybe a little less um, I'm also going to cut a piece of twine there and you know I might have some polka dot hold on just one sec do I have it over here no, nope, I think my polka dot ribbon is gone. Too bad, because I think some cute little um, black and white polka dots here would have been really cute. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna alternate these a little bit and kind of put them on a diagonal like that. And I think since I'm only using two, let's go ahead and put another one this way. I have this thing about odd numbers. Maybe it's because I'm a mom of triplets. I don't know. But uh, I do everything in threes. <laughs> I'm kind of funny that way. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just dovetail these before we put them all together. So to dovetail them, I'm just folding them in half and then... Whoops, there's that. And I'm doing a little diagonal there. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Zoe. No one can hear me talking when you're barking, silly girl. So I gotta admit, you probably are saying, hey Tim, I've seen you in that sweater this week. If you watch my other lives, you might have seen it. It's becoming, hey, 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 becoming my favorite sweater of all time. Hey, come on. Well, one benefit of being home alone is that you have to let the dog out when they decide they want to go bark because there's no one else here to take them. The other, but the other benefit of being home alone is that you can go live in your kitchen and no one's going to come in and bother you. So <laughs> I don't know what's better, <laughs> being home alone um, or not. But um, I hope you all are having a really good day and you're staying away from all the crazy news if you can help it. I had to run to Costco today. Hey, Marie, nice to have you here. Um, and I wasn't sure what to expect. I'll tell you, yesterday I had to run to the pharmacy for just a quick minute and um, 
my husband needed some decongestant. It's got a little cold or allergy thing going on. And um, the shelves were empty. And I know people have been saying that all over the place, but since I work from home, I don't often see or don't often get out regularly enough to see what's happening. And I was just dang shocked. I have to tell you, I was just, wow, couldn't believe how crazy it had gotten in just a couple of days since I had last been out. So um, I hope that you got everything you needed. But I got to tell you, Costco was very normal and calm today. I was very happy. We got a few things that we needed and we got out of there. So um, thank goodness for that. <sighs> All right. Let's see, so we're gonna put these ribbons here together and what we're doing is just kind of alternating on a crisscross pattern. If we can, let's see. Can you still hear Zoe barking outside the big mouth? I hear, she's being a big mouth. But now at least she's outside and not barking while we're trying to talk, right? So that's it. And then we're gonna take this little piece of twine here and we're gonna take this and we're gonna scrunch this together like that. So just scrunch it right in the middle where they all intersected. And then we're gonna take this little ribbon here, this little piece of twine, and we're just gonna tie it tight. So if you have all sorts of little ribbon straps, uh, scraps, don't throw them out. They're great to use for these kinds of kind of silly bows. Um, and they're super simple to make and they look fun and um, you know, it's cool, so why not, right? And then it's just a little fluffing. You just wanna fluff them a little bit. If some look like they're maybe a little too long for the space, you can go ahead and cut them and dovetail them a little bit more. But that's it, right? Cute little bow, isn't that cute? So that's gonna be cute. It's gonna be added right here to our little, whoops, went off camera there, you can't see, our little hello tag, right? And since I have a little piece of twine here left, hopefully I'm gonna be able to feed it through here. And if not, that's what a glue gun is for. Oh, and it fit, look at that, perfect. I just love when it works the way it's supposed to. Got it right through that hole in the first shot. And I'm just gonna tie it here so the bow is on nice and tight. So there we go. So we've got this cute little bow. I love when they come out the way I hope they're gonna. Isn't that cute? And then that's gonna be our embellishment up here. So you can kind of see what that's gonna look like, right? And then we are going to, ah, but Cheryl, they're not difficult bows. They're not like the fluffy bows that people are really good at making. I'm just not one of those people. But uh, these were super fun, easy to make, right? All right, so this should be just about dry. Oh, it is, look at that. It is just about dry. Let me just zap it here with the heat tool. Oh, Zoe's ready to come in, so I'm gonna let her in. One of the benefits, it's like kids, right? One of the benefits of um, being in my office, honestly, is that I don't hear the dog. But she's nuts. She needs me so much more than normal. Hey, Steve, thanks for watching. Now, that's not my husband, Steve. That's my friend, Steve. Um, great to have you watching and taking a peek about what's happening here. So this is dry, definitely. I don't even need the heat tool. It is totally dry. So we are ready for our next layer. And we are ready to put on the Bless Our Nest. So let's do our next layer first. Grab my fuzzing cloth again. So terry cloth side up. Now this transfer does have what we call registration marks, meaning that there are little um, areas that you can chalk to help line up the second layer. Um, I didn't use them because the registration marks were actually outside of my um, door tag. So we're just gonna have to wing it and try to get this lined up as best we can. Don't worry, it's not that big of a deal. I totally don't think it's a huge deal. Now, one of the things I gotta say about I'm loving working in my kitchen here with you guys today because 
I'm standing up, and I almost always stand up when I chop. <coughs> now, I don't know about you guys, when you create, do you stand up? Uh-oh, Zoe, be quiet. Do you stand up when you work, or do you like to sit down? I definitely like to stand. So this is making it a lot easier for me to line some things up than it sometimes is when I'm sitting down. I have a much better view, I think. I'm trying to line up that circle. Zozo. Yeah, I know. She's a very big chatty Kathy. My husband said she wanted me to stay home so that um, I can keep the dog from barking. I'm like, oh no, honey, go out, go, go. Now I should have made him stay, huh? He's definitely being more barky. You know what it is, is everyone is outside today enjoying the fresh air. It's finally nice here in Connecticut. So people are definitely out. <laughs> yeah, you like to stand too, Cheryl, when you um, craft me too. I just, I love it. It's so much more freeing, I gotta say. All right, so this time, I'm gonna use just our black chalk paste to add in the embellishments of the house here. So we've got this little area here at the bottom. We've got these little circles where the birds are gonna live. And then we've got the roof line. We've got the top circle here. And they're just, I'm just dipping my squeegee just right into the jar. Just make sure I don't go past my green area here. And I'll only have chalk paste where I want it to go. Now my roof line does go a little beyond the side of my door tag, but I'm not worried about that. Are you worried about that? I'm not worried about that. Okay, here we go. And we're just gonna slowly bring that down and now we can see how we've given that door tag a little bit more definition with the black roof line i'm loving that i hope you're loving it too i think it's super cute now of course we want to put on a little bit of uh, interest and i think we're going to use this bless our nest if we can get it to fit let's see if we can let's hope we can and this time i'm going to just Give this a quick blast with a heat tool. If you don't have a heat tool, by the way, you can always use a hair dryer. That's fine. When I uh, was hanging out in Pinterest earlier this week, I saw the cutest little barn picture. I'm totally into barns. I don't have one. I'd love to have a barn. Don't have one yet. Maybe someday it'll be in my future. Just giving us a little finger test to see if it's dry. It feels like it is. So that was fast. Quick, quick, right? Doesn't take too long to dry things up. And get this buzzing cloth out one more time. And let's see if this bless our nest is going to fit if it's It's a little close, but I think we can get most of it. Or we could do bless here. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do bless here and we'll do our nest down here. So I'm thinking I'm going to use just the bless part up here and then we'll put our nest down here. If my door tag were a little bit wider, we probably could have gotten it all in. I'm just trying to line it up so that it's fairly centered there. Pretty easy. And I'm just using the word bless right now. So don't worry, I'm not gonna get our nest here stuck. Because remember, we also have this tag we wanna hang from up here. So there's our bless. There we go, right? And then Let's see if we can get our nest fitting here. So pretty close, it goes off a little, but you know what? I'm not worried about it. I think it's kind of cute. 
So let it come off a little. I think we're gonna get the gist of what we're trying to say here. The only thing is, I might wanna bring it down just a tad, because I see that we're gonna hit the black part, and I want this to come down a tad, I think. There we go. There we go. Trying to catch up on my comments. I know, don't you love barns? I There are some pretty barns here in Connecticut too. Where you guys live, do you have some pretty barns? Um, I'm actually kind of sad. You know, Connecticut's got really big tobacco fields. My friend Barbara, um, who was on with us a little bit earlier, I'm not sure she's still with us, but lives in a part of town where they grew a lot of tobacco. And um, they have some beautiful barns, but they have now demolished them all. And I'm so sad. Every time I head to the airport, I go by them, and I get so sad to see they're all gone. Um, but, oh, you know what? I don't want to put that away yet because I also have a few little embellishments. I've got to find, I have this cute little wreath. I'm kind of deciding if I want to put him there. I don't know if he works. I think I might just want to leave him be. Maybe what we'll do is we'll add a little bit more ribbon. Maybe this black and white check ribbon underneath here would be really cute as a little bow. I don't know, we'll have to see. But I think that it completes our project today. We're gonna just use our glue gun here to glue this hello tag right to the top. And there we go, we've got our door tag ready to hang for the summer. And uh, perfect for my front door because I'm missing a spot there. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you watching. It was great to have you here. Again, this is Timmy with La Couture. If you're watching me and you think, oh my gosh, I want to totally do that. I want to know how I can get my hands on some of these awesome products. Just go ahead and type in shop at the bottom and I'll be sure to send you the link so you can browse all of the great designs we have. And um, also, if you're interested in learning more about becoming a designer on my team and what it means to have a chocolate tour business, feel free to go ahead and put biz in the comments. I'd be happy to tell you about that as well. This um, company has really changed my life in so many great ways. Um, not only have I earned some really great trips, but I also have made some really awesome friends. So um, in this time of my life, as my kids are grown and my husband's traveling, it's really great to be able to come and jump on and talk and craft with all of you every day. So I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. I thank so much for joining me here today, and we'll talk soon. Bye.